Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Drew and Stu podcast. I'm Drew Livingstone. That's Cam Stewart. Cam, uh, it's looking like both finals may end in less than six games, even though we have those wagers where you think they're going over six. I think they're going under six. Uh, what are you feeling? Didn't do you think the, the NBA finals will be shorter than the NHL finals? Start What's your until feel? a game is lost on home ice or home court. <laughs> yeah, and it's the stupidest hey, thing hey. anyone's ever said. We'll get I'm like, no, it's already started. You're down later. to nothing. But remember, Drew, let's call it out for what is uh, Who am I on? Boston in six and Florida in six, right? Did I Boston in six or seven? Yeah. I, I, it was six or seven, but I know yeah. I have Florida in six. Yeah, I think I said You said Boston, Boston in Boston five or six, six actually, Florida so you're six. looking I good. that's documented. Listen, I'm starting to come around to your yep. way of thinking, but here's the deal with the NBA. It's a totally different game. I think home ice in hockey is a disadvantage because we both played the game. If they, no, just listen, just hear me out, hear me out, because the fans are riled up. Oh, yeah, if listen, you do listen, something listen. stupid and get too aggressive, and let's just say this. If Florida goes up 2 nothing, Edmonton's toast. This is not the Dallas Stars. This is not anybody else. Basketball, on the other hand, Porzingis is out for Boston. Kyrie, Kyrie Irving hasn't hit a damn shot in the series. They literally would have been close in game two if not for, like, actually there was a bad call where Washington got pushed from behind. It would have been a very tight game. Listen, I'm on Boston, okay? I'm telling you, yeah, 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 Dallas yeah. wins game three. That's all I'm saying. I've already bet it. The Dallas Mavericks are going to win game three. They split. I'm not going to say whatever. These series might end in five. They might end in six, but there's going to be no sweeps. Actually, I think Florida has a better chance of sweeping Edmonton. Your call than Boston does to Dallas, and I'm not sure if you're going to agree. Um, each, hmm. I, I mean, I do agree. I picked Boston in five and Florida in four. I thought Dallas was going to win game one and Boston was going to win four straight after that. That's what I said on the show. But it didn't happen. Even though they were leading with five minutes left in game one, they blew it. Um, yeah, Kyrie Irving cam. It's like, where is this guy? The, he said the boos weren't going to affect him. The boos are clearly affecting so him. Like the, the Boston crowd is getting to him because he's not playing like He himself. said all the right things at all the right time. And many, many shows we gave him credit. The bottom line is he's buried his hatred and, you know, absolute venom for those people. And it affected him. Sometimes people could say, hey, I'm great. You know, buddies. Yep. No, you're not great. Your marriage is in trouble. Your kid's a train wreck, like whatever. You could lie to people all you want. <laughs> Deep down inside, he was saying all the right things. But now you're at home. And he's a different player at home. I'd like to come back to his props tonight for points. I think Dallas is going to show up in the game. I think they're going to win in the first half. It's one of those things where it's essential for them to come out, punch Boston in the face. Listen. The Porzingis situation, I don't know how long he's going to be out for, but I'm going to say this. The Dallas Mavericks are a great, a good team at home. Boston played good basketball. I still think the Celtics are going to win the series. I'm not saying Dallas is coming back by any stretch, but I guarantee you they don't get, they don't lose both games. Let's call it out for what it is. What do you think of Kyrie Irving, 20 so, points and five rebounds? I prefer the 20 points 300. over the boards, but uh, I think he's going to, okay. what was his point prop? 22 and a half, 23 and a half. I like over. Yeah. The only thing is you can get 20 points at minus yeah. 200. So yeah, I think or, that's and even parlay safer, it with like something else that you points. like or like uh, do a same game parlay. I agree with that, Drew. Yeah. Um, I'm worried, Cam, because it looks like Don just can't even walk. Like, he can't run properly. His body's all banged up. Like, if there's one guy that shouldn't even be playing, it's him. But he's still putting the team on his back. And Tatum hasn't yet to show up in the finals, Cam. Uh, and, like, with him not showing up, Boston's still winning two games. It's, it's looking like well, bad news bears thing, if he shows up for game three this, and four. We'll get Cam. to this with hockey. The beautiful thing about gambling now is we could do so many things in different ways. And right now, Boston is over a six to one favorite to win the series. Like, like they're like minus 800 or whatever. So Dallas mm -hmm. is like plus 575. I don't know. Like I have different books. So I'm looking at numbers. Why the hell would you play Boston when you can get Brown at MVP at a number where you don't even have, because Tatum has not been as good as Brown. So it's kind of like what yeah. we talk about. We'll get into the Florida thing. And I have some ideas for that series too for if you have money on Edmonton which we don't but for all the people wanting to escape there is an escape plan but you better do it really quick because it's not going to be there for long my thing is you're not going to get the Celtics at plus money on the money line if they win game three so if you think they win in four you take them tonight because they're plus 140 because yeah. if they win well, tonight the they're going to be favored in game like four Dallas, right? you have to bet them the series price because they're only down one and then you get that big like almost six to one in your back pocket see yeah yeah oh and if they tie the series up then <laughs> you're you, laughing you, you can me? just cash out yes you got me that's exactly what you do so I would say the same thing with yeah, Edmonton yeah, and yeah, Hawkins gotcha. like you're already screwed, kind of. So if you like Edmonton in game three, you have to take them in the series. Do you not? 
Yeah, I, I think so because I think you can, they can come back. And if any team can come back in the series, it's Edmonton. Uh, we saw Dallas do it against Vegas. We saw Edmonton do it against Vancouver. They have the yeah. ability to win two games straight when they're down in a series. And so people counting them completely out, like myself, might look a bit stupid well, when you see thing. Edmonton like, come back and win game three. Not four, it's two to nothing. Me and you are in great shape. It's like I have a parlay with Boston and Florida. I have Florida in six. I got Boston in six. Hell, you got Florida in, in a sweep. And I'm, it looks like I'm going to have to end up taking you out for drinks. Or I, yep. I, I forget the exact words of the bet. You're going to have to play back the tape. But I'm a man of my word. So I will take you out for wings, yep. beers, whatever the hell I said I was going to do. Uh, hopefully I didn't say something too crazy, like buy you a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, which is like 300 bucks. No, you told I okay. told you I'd give you a golf round, and you said you'd take me out for wings and beer. <laughs> I'll take you out golfing at like a dirt uh, track. Yeah, like so I have, I, I have the... nine holes. See you, Drew. No, uh, yeah, I yeah, would yeah, never yeah. do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I got I got the Panthers at nine to one to win the series in four. Um, the, the current cash out is terrible. I put fifty bucks <laughs> on it. They're only off me eighty dollars. Like, 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 like honestly, that's a hate about cash yeah, out. Like 100%. you're not even making a word. Like that, that's actually insulting to my bet. Like it, it, it actually makes me angry. <laughs> it's not even double my bet. Yeah. It's stupid. Uh, yeah, I, I think the cash outs are hilarious sometimes. No. I'm always like, so you clearly don't want me to cash no, out because you think I'm they, losing. That's what, they they, just, that's what it is. I don't know if it's exactly um, okay, that. Okay. It's just so, the computer's not giving you the math. I, I think for that, you need to get at least, what, 150 Like, what, what does it pay? Okay. They yeah, it only pays 90 right now. It pays 500 Not 50, even half, so. but like a buck fifty. One fifty. Does that sound about right? One fifty. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that should be the thing, but they're not, so it's fine. Um, Cam, getting to game three tonight, Dallas Mavericks, Boston Celtics. Boston underdogs, plus two and a half on the road tonight. Does Dallas get back in the I series? I think you've already revealed that you think Dallas winning game three. Uh, I personally don't, so I'm taking Boston plus 140 on the money line. But uh, if you like Dallas, like you said, you're betting them in the futures for uh, to win like the series. I still like Boston, but yeah, I, ha- I have to because – You'll Boston still take them tonight, minus two and, huge, and a half. Right? So when you're getting a team at six to one, I could put fifty dollars mm-hmm. on these guys and get them at six to one at three hundred, and then whatever happens, like you know what I mean? Because Boston pays so much more. I think it's like six hundred or whatever. So I want to. Yeah. It's a perfect head situation on a fifty dollar play. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to do this. Is what I'm doing with Dallas tonight? Race to ten, race to twenty. First quarter, first half. Team total over. I think they come out and punch Boston in the face. Like, and if I lose these bets, dude, I probably shouldn't. So you like, think they all dominate? The smart things that I did with the like that goes down the tubes. But the good news is, me and you have Boston exact games. I Boston futures and Boston. Yep. I, actually, I love the Boston in six thing. I think I think the Mavericks win two games in the series. Fair enough. I like them in five. So hopefully if they do lose one, it's game four after they win game three. That's what I think they can win at home. But uh, if they lose game three tonight, then Dallas right back in the series and I won't be happy about it. But so we're in disagreement, yeah, we but that's fine. We, a lot we of disagree things. a lot like, in the show. Like, it doesn't mean Me and anything. you both had Boston and Florida. Like what are the odds of that? Like every guy's like we've had guys like all over the boards and all the shows I do. Like one guy might add Florida, but the other guy at Dallas. Like I found very few people that had Panthers and Celtics and me and you were two of them. Fair enough. All right, Cam. Moving on to game three between the Florida Panthers and the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton Oilers, home favorites. Uh, Sasha Barkov looks like he is going to play. Oh, First off, what do you think that dry title hit? I thought it was dirty man. as hell. When you play hockey Some play. people are like, oh, no, it's just like hockey no. play. I'm hockey play. Here's he jumped four feet off Elbows the fucking ice into his head. Not hockey like play. It just... Knees on, yeah, with leaps. Knees with leaps. On well, knees with leaps into them. Non-hockey like, like... plays. Can openers? Not... No. Know what a hockey play is? When a guy has his head down, you put a shoulder through his face. That's a hockey play. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. If Drysaddle nailed Barkov and stayed on the ice the whole time and just smashed him with his head down, fine. But when he jumps into his face, I'm just like, dude, Edmonton that's just, you're trying to that's get him out of the series because he shouldn't Barkov even Barkov is the key to Florida's success because he shuts down McDavid. He's one of the best defensive and offensive players in the league. He's a perfect hockey player. Exactly. But the mismanage, the, 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 the mismatch in this series is so obvious, and me and you talked about it before. Edmonton's, Edmonton's defensemen despite being good offensively, are horribly defense. Like, they're not good. They, like, honestly, you're going to put Cody Cece back Their in the lineup because everybody else, like, this guy was a healthy scratch. Get him back in there. Desperation. Put Corey Perry back in there. Hopefully he stirs it up. Here's... Well, and Darnell Nurse banged up, too. He hasn't been great. He's minus 15 in the playoffs, saying. but least, him like, only he, playing he four minutes is not a good look. Things Bouchard's good offensively. The problem is, and we've talked about it, Florida wins every puck battle. They're the nastiest team in the league. Have you seen their penalty yep. kill? They're the aggressors. Like, they don't let Edmonton do anything. And every time Edmonton has a chance, there's a stick. Like, 
Ekman Larson will make Ekblad. See all the beautiful plays at the end. I'm like, oh my god, he's alone. And then I see a Florida. Well, I laugh out. Like, Excellent. But Drew. Well, Cam, it's Florida plays amazing. defense by whacking you. They don't even like hit the stick. It's not even six inches. It's whacking the hands, whacking the hands, whacking the hands. And the refs don't call anything. And then they call ticky tack plays. The refs blew my mining game too. There were so many penalties that should have been called. And they were calling like dinky, da- dunky, like trips and stuff. I'm like, I know. McDavid it's... just got hooked on a breakaway. You I got to be honest that, with you. That little trip in the corner. Game, like, but it's... you can't say that Florida has been the beneficiary of the calls or it's a Florida tilted series with calls. It's I think it's been. No, the Oilers dominated game one and Bobrovsky Here's stole the, the show and now Florida dominated game two. Unless the only way Edmonton can come back is if they get greasy goals, which they're not very good at get, like doing right now. That's actually funny. They score that first goal between Bobrovsky's legs, and after that, they get away from it. It's like, guys, the only goal you scored in the series was a bad goal. And I watched these guys play, Drew. And Yep. And you have the king of screening goalies, Zach Hyman, in front of the net, and they're just not firing similar. pucks on the and point. I don't want to bring up this team, and I love you, Dangle, and everything. This is the Leafs thing. Like, guys, it's not pr- – don't have to be pretty. What is – see what Florida does? They shoot the puck in the net. Evan Rodriguez puts a stick down. Goalie's done. Hey, Skinner, you got no chance. That's how you play hockey in the playoffs. Drew, know what I tell you on my team? You're my point man. Drew, I don't even want a slap shot. Just get, you know what? I'm going to get in front, and you're going to flick it, and I'm going to knock it, it through. in somehow. I'm going to get, get it through. right in front of Skinner. Yeah. He's not going to see the puck. Edmonton. Hockey's not a difficult game. McDavid, you know what? McDavid is one of the best players in the world. I think McKinnon's better. But I'm going to tell you this. I know you, you didn't think I'd say that. I think McDavid McKinnon's the best player, all-around player in the league. That's my opinion, though. And people call me an idiot. Whatever. I don't care. McKinnon's tougher. Here's the thing. McDavid <laughs> is a, one thing that he does well. He has one flaw as a hockey player. He does not sh- just shoot. Everything, he dangles it too much. Like, dude, when you get on your stick, just fire it, man. Like, why are you waiting? Yeah, like he should have yes, 10 shots on that every game. Like, we both played the game. Like, I'm not saying we, like, I made the NHL yeah. or anything, but, like, we didn't play house league hockey. We played at a pretty good level. Like, we know what's going on here. Like, and, like, and, like, it's McDavid, I feel like, is almost scared of contact right now. We saw that play behind the back of the net, and people were like, oh, McDavid got hit by Ekblad. Yeah. He yanked Ekblad down because he was scared of the contact. I thought that was pretty dirty, but people didn't really talk about that when Ekblad left the ice hurt. Um, yeah, Cam, I don't know. I'm going back to the well of Florida. I still think they win this game, this series in four plus 115. You're not going to get them at plus money again. I think Edmonton, if they lose this game on lose game tomorrow night, they're done. You're not coming back with three on a series. So like, this will be the biggest push from the Oilers we've seen in the playoffs. Um, but I still think Bobrovsky and the Panthers survive. So give me Florida plus 115. And I'm going to take them on the puck line minus That's one and a half as well. Which but is I'm going to say one thing, and this is how we're going to attack it. If Edmonton wins the next game, I'm taking Florida in the other game and even increasing units because I think they split. So the bottom line is you'll get Florida as a dog in both games. And if you play just say 100 or 200 a game, whatever, like you're making money because they're the underdog. So here's the deal. I bet Florida game three. Mm -hmm. I bet Florida game four, both plus money. But I will say one thing. This is where we get the over. I think the mistakes are going to be made on both sides. I think the refs are going to, after what happened in the last game, tons and tons of uh, power plays. I think this is a game where Florida wins like a four to three hockey game. I think it goes over the number. Yeah, I, I picked <laughs> the like, over Skinner, in game two. I was stay, pissed stay when it didn't there. happen. I was oh, like, get back on, to guys. that bed, Skinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was like, get oh, out. I know. I'm like, and when oh, they pulled him with five minutes left, I was like, yes. Ooh, not so much. Yeah. Um, oh, dude, I take the over. You got any first goal predictions? I got it in game one. He's my guy. No love. Hey, Drew, where's the love from the uh, Yeah, I think, I think the Oilers was... first goals and any time goals, eh? Fair, fair. And you also you also called uh, what's his face in the yeah, Dallas who, Seventeen who series two weeks ago. Um, yeah, yeah, little yeah, guy. Yeah, it was a stank over in a high school. Got like a twenty to one, a fourteen to one, and a ten to one. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I'm not a perfect guy, yeah. but where's the love here? Like enough. And they'll go, your pig suck. You took the Panthers. Uh, plus, uh, oh yeah, sorry, Carolina Panthers plus four and a half, and they lost by six. Like, it's like, come on, guys. Like, give me a break. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Um, So you think still like, no, no, I'm no, still no, on no, the Barkov no, 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 train no, no, to win no, no, the no. Conference Trophy what now? we're here to do. You're on Bobrovsky? This is SDPN. This is what we do. We're trying to get people educated. If you have Edmonton, you got one out right now, and his name's Sergei Bobrovsky. You lay 150 with them because they're going to give it the, the problem with Florida, as you know, Drew. They have so many good players. It's like everybody mm-hmm. at the family function at the buffet taking a piece of the pie. 
The thing is, Bobrovsky, when you can't decide on a player, yeah. you give it to the goalie. I think if you're... My thing is, Cam, if McDavid that, gets held to zero points in the Barkoff finals... And, and Bobrovsky, but Bobrovsky has let in one goal in the first two games. And he stole game one. I'm just saying, Edmonton betters, you can make a decision. If you want to split it off with Barkov and Bobrovsky. But I would say, right now, we don't think Edmonton's going to come back and win this series. But you could save your ass if you bet Bobrovsky. I found out at minus 150. I think it's been bet up because people are, like, trying to find an escape plan right now. Right? Am I making Mm. sense? Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, you are. You are. You are. Uh... Uh, and I think if you think Oilers come back yeah, in the series, you, you can go. stake McDavid in the Good consummate call, to plus 600. Um, uh, Cam, first goal type for game three. If you think it's going to be on the power play, like you said, a bunch of power plays, it's plus 350. Do you think no, the first goal of the game scored on the power Florida play? I think Florida scores the first goal of the game five on five. All right. Fair, fair. Uh, and then the guy with the most shots in the anymore. game, I'm going to go with McDavid. I think he's gonna... And this is to all you fucking sports books out there. No, Drew, it's the worst bet because I've watched guys have six shots on goal and then I'm looking in the box score and they give them four. Like, it's... it's. Oh, it, dude, they know, always take shots away. And I'm talking clean away. shots. It's not insane. even the goalie's on the angle. People who play this yeah. stuff, you are playing with fire. I had Verhege one day. I, I collected, and I'm telling you, not even the wide shots, he had six. They gave him three. And I'm like, that is insane. The guy had six. Like, I'm marking this down watching the game, Drew. It's... Cam, I had one guy, I missed a parlay, he had over three and a half shots, I think it was Taylor Hall, hit his fourth shot yeah. in overtime, I videotaped it, said at the NHL on Twitter, I was they like, said. how is this not a shot on goal, he's coming and hits the goalie's pads on the wide shot, and they didn't reply, they just ignored it, I was like, okay, so it's just, it just wasn't a shot, okay, like, just like, yeah, I just lost Drew, money on I've my parlay because like, of that, but yeah, okay, like, clearly not, not a shot one on that. shot off, there's been games where I've had two or three shots that were not, I don't believe that, like, I don't know who's doing shots on goal, I will never bet a shots on goal prop unless... It's so low on a guy. I will never take anything higher than like three now because I don't trust it. I do not trust it. Sorry. Yeah. I've been burned. Like Drew, Drew, I know yeah. we sound Yeah, insane. unless you're getting that an animal like McKinnon who fires 10 shots or something. It's not even calculated properly. Yeah, the scorekeepers in the game. Well, even if oh, you yeah. watch on the broadcast cam, you'll see like, oh, shots are 12-5 Florida. Yeah, and all exactly. of a, sudden, a minute it's later, like, it's like, oh, it's actually 9-5. Just, like, you what? You where'd those three shots go? <laughs> Like the, like the whole the score, the score bug switches. Oh, like, well, sorry, I I'll, switch? I'll just fix the font and the graphics there. Okay, thanks. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, I think most shots in the game, I think McDavid at plus 450 is not a bad bet because I think if they're going to do everything, he's going to throw everything at the net. Him or Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl is 10 to 1 for most shots in the game. Um, so if you think the Oilers come out hot in this one, then I think those are two safe picks. Um, Zach Hyman, currently the favorite at plus 400, weirdly. Um, okay, moving on, Cam. My favorite golf tournament of the year uh, the U.S. Open, yeah. just because I like, I like when the guys can play already? like all this. Oh, I don't know about the USGA, the what they're trying guys. to do. I, I saw guys putting off the green. and oh, hey, hey, Gary, here's a tip. It's called the U.S. Open. It's supposed to be a t- tough test of golf. How about you just settle down and go beat up some kid in your your, your dojo? Uh, everyone wants me to throw down with Gary Player. The mm-hmm. guy put me in a pretzel, for God's <laughs> sakes. He's a, like, honest to God, that guy would probably knock like a, a young guy. Like he, I get it, Gary. You're in great shape. Remember when I went to the Masters and he goes, what did you have for breakfast? I did 500 push-ups before you hit the alarm clock. I'm Gary Player. Bacon, butter, fat, the keys of the North American diet. I'm like, just shut up and tell me about the damn tournament Justin wrote. Like, I, like you know what I mean, <laughs> Gary? I don't need a speech, but I'm going to say this. This tournament's going to be wicked. I hope this course plays killer. I hope the winning score is under 8 under. How, how, many, how many guys are going under par in the tournament in your prediction? Six. I was going to say between four and six. I'm going to say yeah, four. So we'll read each You're other. saying six? Six under. So what do you think the winning score is? Like four under? Six. Okay, okay. so Scotty Shuffler's going to get to six. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That we'll yeah, more the guy's been unbelievable I, in the last eight starts. Hey, He's got hey, five dude, wins. Seconds by, the, 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 put, put it on my tombstone. Cam Stewart. God, he loves second place. Like six weeks in a row. Oh, how about uh, Joey C uh, in our one and done pool? I had Scotty Scheffler because I was like, I'm not saying guys I want the bye week. And he's like, oh, there's actually no bye weeks in this pool. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, boy, really? Joe I wouldn't C. have used Scotty Scheffler then. I you know, master. yeah. He's giving me a big speech the other way. He's like laughing yeah, at me about Cantlay. Don't, don't worry. Cantlay and Wyndham Clark can take a dip in in, in, in the waters with Crocs. Like, I, I, dude, Cantlay, I'm done with that. That pair was brutal. 
Um, okay, Cam. Right now, you got uh, a boot, bet boost on three six five. Scotty Scheffler finished top three yes. plus four hundred. I, I feel Actually, like you have to take it. Better than my. Th- here's my thing. There's Scotty Scheffler top five and ties minus one twenty, and people are like, "Why do you want to lay juice?" But here's the thing. We we bet baseball. Best player golf. in the world. It's not even close. Sorry, we bet baseball, hockey, like all money lines, football. Minus 120 is basically a pick for him to be top five. And I'd actually like your top three one with that, yeah, with the plus money, whatever, because he'll probably come between one and five. So you could do both, right? Like, say he finishes T4, you win. Yep. Drew, I love this bet, though. And I'm going to get you get to your picks. Yeah, I think you can have winner without Scheffler. I got more a cow at 13 to one, winner without Scheffler. Uh, I, like I think that. it was what, what sports book has five, that? but uh, I could be mistaken. And they have all sorts of other guys. It's called the option winner without Scheffler. Also, on Mr. Green, they had they have this 50% bet boost. I got Colin Morikawa at 25 to 1. His odds are now 14. Like I, yeah. I wish I had, but they only gave they only gave me a certain amount of like I, I got him at boost. 18. You can only do so yeah. much, but I maxed it. So I'm like ready to go. I got good. So one of my picks, Cam, is Morikawa. Uh, I mean, he's been playing unbelievable lately. His short game was his issue earlier in the year, but now he's, he's feeling it. I knew he's one of the best off the tee. Uh, I feel like at this course, Cam, is if you can keep it in the fairway, you're going to be good. Morikawa is really good at driving accuracy, so I like Morikawa this week. He's 18-1 to 1 right now on 365, so I'll take that. Uh, you got the bet boost, so you're laughing uh, with your picks. Um, my next pick, Cam, I'm going with your boy, Ludwig Aberg. Uh, I guess I got to pick Aberg. I mean, he's one of the best driving distance, 15th and strokes gained of driving. He's going to keep it in the fairway as well. I don't know if he'll win, but top 10, top yep. 20, but I'll take him for the win regardless because he's 20 to one. Uh, and then my third pick cam, I'm going back to the well with Alex oh, Norton at 150 like two, to two one. Am I crazy? there and uh, an American. So you know what? Alex Norton's a great player. And this is the type of course where Alex Norton, what does he do? Well, he drives the ball straight. He hits greens. It's all about his putter. That's what I mean. I just want to go- Cam, this you course is over 7,500 yards and only par 70. It's, it's insane. You want long hitters. I had him T5 last week. That's a great, like, Ooh. what? I do like Sepstraka. I do like Sepstraka as well. And I like, what, how do you feel about DeChambeau? Is he going to be in I have him in a matchup again? bet against Cantlay. Then I have him in another matchup bet against, who was it? Was it Fleetwood? Okay, sorry, I got a lot of picks, but can I give you my picks? I yeah, go for it. Give us your six pack. Twenty five, but guys, I can't lie. Boosted hard. Okay. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Cam. He's Smith, eighteen anyway now, so it's still good. Falling off the radar. What does he do well? Ooh. You, li- you like you like more than Cam Young this week? Cam Young, Cantley, and Wyndham Clark are on a bus that are, that is leaving my city right now, and I couldn't care less where they. I are you worried about Cam Smith about cutting Cam his Smith mullet off? Struggling his hair. Hey, here. Is he the best putter in the right, world? Right, Arguably. Right. How's his wedge game? Pretty damn good. And you know what? Since he hasn't Close. been playing great on live, you're getting 45 to 1. Drew, my next one, he is a man with sharp teeth, would be great in a corn on the cob eating contest. One of my guys, and he has a perfect game for U.S. Open because <laughs> pars are good. Matthew Fitzpatrick, 50 to 1. And Sahit Tagala, Ooh, I do they like call that. him Chewbacca. He's a hairy guy. Who's got more hair than me? Tagala. Man, he's got a hair. He's a, but hairy, good game. <laughs> 60 to 1. Two bombs for you. I mentioned yeah. one with Straka. And Drew, you don't know anything about music, so you definitely know the you don't know the 80s band uh, Mr. Mister. Mister Mister. I'm going with Dean Burmester. 125 to Mr. 1 Mr. as my super bomb of the week. Cam, crazy enough, I love all your picks except their Mr. Mr. nonsense. I don't know what that uh, means. I don't know. Are they Alex the ones that sing schools out for summer? Like, I don't know. It's, it's... Drew, oh, stop. Like, I honestly, I That's want to do a whole music uh, show with you because I just, when I leave this, I literally like walk around and I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Laugh, cry, just like you just flabbergast me. Hey, Dean Burmester is doing great on the live tour. And I also have him top South African plus 160. I love your pet bets, though, with uh, DeChambeau and all that stuff, too. And Aberg, I have in a top 10 and top 20. Cam, how do you feel about this? Because I've already sprinkled on it. I, I call me crazy. It's You're giving actually, me Dustin Johnson, you know 125 to one and a half to take it. Like, I, 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 know he's, I know he's been playing. Well, he's been playing still, like, not good enough to win. But this guy is one of the longest hitters on, on tour, or one of the longest hitters in golf. If he can somehow find it. 
like one week it'll be a major and like you're getting one of the best ball strikers in the world at 125 to one. I know he's not playing at the top of his game, but if he figures it Let's out, just Cam, say this, he could easily be in contention. Form, Dustin Johnson should have been around the 66 to 80 to one mark, in my opinion. I, I and I think that's even like, yeah, yes, like, he, yes, like he should be yes, like the Corey yes, Connor, yes. Shane Great Lowry point. range. Like he shouldn't Question. be. Brooks Kepka, how do you feel? he's got the attitude to say like, fuck you to these courses and just go out and win. So that's why I do like I it, but I, I feel like he should like be longer than 22 to one. So I'm going to regret this. I might have to take him live. I almost hope he starts like kind of good, but if we can get like a 30, you know, if I do the math, like I think he'll be a dangerous live player. So that's basically what I got. Oh yeah, Drew, I got another great bet for you. I don't know if they're going to give me the full money for it, but I bet this before John Rom withdrew. I got Puig. He's a top Spaniard, four to one. He's actually been great on the live tour. Puig. Oh. I, I, I mean, I feel like so. if you bet it before the withdrawal, they have to honor it. Because you bet yeah, it no thing he was I, I playing. Like like you didn't Ron. know he was Ron withdrawing. Right? Good. His name is David exactly. Puig, top Spaniard, plus 400. Maybe. I haven't checked And yet. what's he now? Probably plus 200? did another show, but uh, it's still in my betting account. So we'll see if, they, if he wins, if they slice it or avoid it. Fair enough. Uh, if you think the tournament goes to a playoff, which is a chance Not to have in Cam, it's six to one right now. Well, I think I uh, it's worth a little sprinkle. Eight. You don't think so? Um, and what do you think this bet boost? Top ten finish, including ties: Scheffler, Rory, and Deschambeau's ten to one. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to win. Rory but competes. The thing about Rory know, too is if he's lingering, sometimes he has those crazy final rounds to get into the top ten. Like, um, I think that's a really true. good bet. That's actually. true. I, I have um, one. Uh, you know who? You know who? You know who's I'm least confident of those three to finish top ten is Scotty Scheffler. I think he, like he's gonna finish in top five. Like personally, I think he's gonna do well. But like, if anyone can blow it because of their putting, it's Scotty Scheffler. Like we saw, he won last week without hitting a putt longer than ten feet. Like if he That's has to hit the these putts thing. on these greens, like People he might screw himself over. Or like, how do you not take Scheffler? But I'm gonna tell you, Drew, and I did a show with Mayo, and he's right. Like. For the people that have those computer programs, this course maps out perfectly. Like, it should it should be Scheffler's best course. But what you're not taking into effect is the way the greens change from round one to round four. And mm-hmm. he can sometimes get really bad with the putter. And if he's not perfect, that's the whole thing. Yep. Like, for me, what's a number that you bet Scotty Scheffler at in, in a major with the live guys coming back? I need at least five to one. And you're and three's not enough, so I'm gonna pass. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I, guess, I understand he's got five wins last eight starts, and it's stupid not to. Pick I like him, your but top three and top five. That's, um, that's another listen, boost. You're getting a top three for more than it is to win. He's plus three hundred. What a great yeah, call it's a boost. by you. It's a boost. See, you did yeah, do exactly. that smart. Your music, your music knowledge reeks when it comes to bands, but damn, you're you're good at finding those little gems. <laughs> Uh, another boost cam top 10 finishes Xander, oh, Colin Morikawa, oh, oh, oh. and Brooks Kepka. These guys are 22 sucking me through. I feel like I got to hook and run off and I'm just going to go. When I see bet boosts, I'm like, hey, they look. You know what bet boosts are? It's like the person, you know, you're at the bar. Traps. Say I'm single and that, you look at that girl go, oh, yeah. Right. And then you're like, eh, bet boost. Like, you know, you know what? They look so damn good till you figure. And I'm like, you know, one of them is going to screw you. But you know what? How do you say no to those odds? You can't. Are we missing something That's else? That's what I, I mean. Like, another it's good odds. Uh, oh, yeah, Euro. You're a Brit. Are you betting England? You bunch of, Oh, yeah, you, Euro. If you bet England uh, at 350 and they win, God bless you. That is the worst. England is like the Toronto Maple Leafs. They never win. They they blow everything, Cam. Cam, they blow everything. Who do you like? Uh, they blow everything. It, England always wow. keeps keep blowing. I like Germany, the, the home team, Cam. Good, uh, plus 550. Right? Uh Besides that, Cam, call. give me Croatia as a long bomb at 40 to 1. They've been playing good. They they always do good in these Euro tournaments and these World Cup tournaments. They're always like a great underdog. And give me Croatia to win the group with Italy and Spain. Everyone's like, oh, it's going to be Spain and Italy at the top of this group. The worst Why are you down in Croatia? Show, give me Croatia Scotland to win that group, Cam. To qualify was the guy's top bet. They open up with Germany. I'll tell you one thing. Oh, Scotland no. in that game, like, are you a totals guy? For Scotland to be successful, they'd love a nil-nil draw. Like, they're going to play basically a wall and say, please, like, because they're not going to have anything. Like, they're going to basically play a trap, super trap, and go, if we can get out here with a draw, it's the best. Yeah, I mean, I there are some crazy b- boosts, but, okay, uh, how about top yeah, I think, what do you think? in the tournament? Did you do any of those? Okay. 
Give me your. Give me your I don't have that. Uh, Friday, if you have any of those. Oh, Thursday. Yeah, you're right. Thursday. What day? Is Thursday. Oh yeah. Tomorrow. Man. Tomorrow. Germany's the first game tomorrow. Uh, I think Germany's going to do well. I think I have Germany against France in the final. So if you have any futures, that's my final. Um, I think Germany's going to win the tournament at home. I think they're going to be fine. Uh, Croatia to win their group, and Croatia long bomb is a dark horse at forty to one. Besides that, I don't really have much invested in this tournament cam, but I will be betting the games as they happen. Uh, first off, with give, Germany give, probably give, by give two me goals. A, give me a DM, give Scotland. me a text because uh, you've been on a quite a heater lately, Drew, with all, all of your sports. So I, I don't mind riding riding the wave, but that Croatia pick that those odds should be cut in half. That's actually crazy to get. They're a good team, man. Like, and you're going to give me those odds? Like that's stupid. Let's remember Greece. I'm an older guy. Greece won this tournament at 100 to one, and literally bookies from Toronto or went there. See ya! They went back to the motherland because they owed the whole damn Greek community money. Mm-hmm. Like people fled town. Like you know how much money Greeks made? Just like eh, I'm gonna put 50 bucks on that, whatever. Like they made a killing. Yeah. yeah, and they're always the team that surprises and makes it deeper than they should. So I think uh, I like that, and I like Portugal to not oh, make Portuguese it out of the round Joe of sixteen. Line too. I mean, that's plus He's not gonna like you um, when he comes over to bring the KFC. You're not. You don't get a piece. I know everyone likes them because they're like, oh, they're going to they're going to do so well for Ronaldo's last tournament. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, man, they're getting old. Like, it's just I don't know. They're going to they could gag it. Uh, We'll see. And yeah, England, Cam, if you think England's going to blow it like they usually do, uh, don't be afraid to bet that. It is. You bet them not to make the quarterfinals. I just find it hilarious. I know England has good players. Like, you can't make them that that number. It's just stupid. It's just dumb. No, I just unless it was in I, England. I, no, if it was in I England. I'd be like, okay, fine. Because makes... the pressure of their country, they're like the Edmonton Oilers media. They beat these guys down so much. It's like stop, stop. Like I'm, me and Gabe were howling last night. Knobloch's doing a one-on-one and an off day with these guys. Can you just like leave the guy alive? Like that's the problem. Edmonton PR. Don't let these guys in. The, like I would say nothing today. Bye. Like God. Fair. Uh, and Cam, and so I think Germany and France is going to be my final. That's my final. Uh, right now, if you think Germany wins the tournament and Mbappe, who's for France, is the top goal scorer in the tournament, True. You're it's 45 to 1 to parlay those Very two. solid bets to the table today. So let's hit a winner in golf. Let's hit a winner on the pitch. And let's hope the Florida Panthers, I hope they win in six so you take me out. But it looks like at four and five, I owe you wings, drinks, and maybe I'll even give you a bottle. If they sweep, I told you this, hey, I'll add a wood. bottle to you. Not Didn't I get you a bottle of Crown for Christmas? I don't know. If they sweep, I'll be. I'll yeah, have no, room at the, the start of next week's yeah, show. Maybe I like, should like sweep your house. Room. Like that's I should come over. I'll clean. clean. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, everyone. That does it for this week of Drew and Stu. Uh, please tail our picks because we're going to win second. a bunch. Of camp. Oh, how'd the Belmont Saints do for you? Because that bet did not hit down for us. This What else is new? Colin Morikawa second. Oh. Mind frame second. As I said, put it on my tombstone. Cam Stewart loves second place. That's what I do. Yeah. Hey, it still makes money. You love being the runner up, Cam. That's That's uh, that's your Cam. Cam, runner up, Stewart. All right, everyone. Please click like. Please click subscribe. Please rate and review this podcast on all audio platforms. And please come back next week and comment what your favorite picks are for the U.S. Open and who you think is going to win the Euro Cup because maybe we'll mention it on next week's show. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. This has been Drew and Stu. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. May the winners be yours. And all of the best bets hit.